Hi, I wanted to show you an easy way to use true type fonts or TTF fonts in your embroidery software for fonts that you like, but you don't necessarily want to keep buying um, new fonts because those can get expensive. Um, some software programs like Embrilliance offer um, BX fonts, which is nice because once you download those, you can type them into your software and they're typable fonts. Um, some software, software programs for embroidery, like Hatch Embroidery or PD, PE Design, um, which are two that I also enjoy using, do not have that option. So let's say that you buy a font um, and it's letters A through Z. You're actually having to download and place those letters individually as different files into the software. But there is a way to use fonts that you like to be able um, and be able to type those into your software. So I'm going to show you a quick example of that. I'm just going to click on um, a website that I use a lot to look at fonts. Always look for the free ones because I don't want to use anything that's copyrighted and break any laws that way. And I'm just going to choose one um, here that I see. Um, if it's for personal use, then you are allowed to use it, but you would not be allowed to sell any of those. So I'm just going to pick one here. Let's just do this one. Um, and once you open it, you'll see that it's available in true type font, PNG, or text document. I'm just going to install the TTF version or the true type font version. And then what I'm going to do is open up my software. I'm going to um, be able to type that into the software. So once you install it, it's actually going to read it in your software as a font that's included in your software already. And I'll show you how to determine the difference in ones that come with your software and ones that you've downloaded after the fact or maybe showing up in a different um, place. So right now I have Hatch open and I want to show you how to use those fonts. In Hatch, if you go to the toolboxes and I chose lettering, you can come over here to your fonts and um, on the left hand side you'll see that all these are stitch files. But if you go all the way down to the bottom, you'll be able to see that those change into true type fonts. And these are in alphabetical order. So I'm just going to select the one that we just chose, which is um, Admiration Pains. And what happens is now I'm able to use that font and type it as if it were already included in the software. I hope that helps.